Hi everyone, so I'm so happy to announce that the big day is here. We're actually going to get some snow. But they're saying we're going to get 25 centimeters, so it should be a great chance to get that machine out. So I'm just going to show you uh, what I did with the battery thing here. Hang on. So here we are in my laundry room. And what I did was, if you, uh, yeah. So this is the, the battery. This is the battery, and what I did was I mounted it onto the wall here. I've seen uh, some, I don't think you can mount them, they're just desk mount, but this is what I did here. And I charged this back uh, when I made the other video, and as you can see here, it it's held a charge. So that's cool, because um, it says not to keep it plugged in, so I don't have it plugged in. But anyway, the battery's ready. We'll just see how the snow goes. So it's windy and miserable out there, and I had to figure out a way to uh, video the machine in action um, without uh, the camera being outside or whatever. So, And then all my windows seem to have screens on them except for this one, so that's why it's not the optimum uh, view, but it'll do for our purposes. So... Um, as far as the machine being difficult to move, even with the with the the skid plates adjusted, I found that as long as you don't push up, like push them into the ground kind of thing when you're moving it, if you just if you just sort of push it up without putting any pressure on the very front end, it, it goes through the snow like butter. And the snow out here is mm, six to ten inches. And it's not hard packed. It's it's fairly fresh, but uh, there's a fair bit of snow and there's some drifting as well. And um, something else I found out is uh, there's this. Don't laugh at me, but this is the the first time I've ever actually used a snow blower, um, and especially used a snow blower in on such a windy day. If you look, the window is the wind is blowing from. Uh, left to right and it is pretty windy so you have to take consideration where you're blowing the snow which way the chute's going and so on <clears throat> and there's a couple times here where I just get lambasted with snow which ain't fun but uh, there it is it the the actual uh, time I was out there is about 12 to 16 minutes for this video here and all that area got cleared and like it's going way way over to the to the right where you can't see and to the left where you can't see and there's a lot of snow there and this in the driveway there's there's a spot to the to the left here that you can't actually see where there's like a a four foot drift and it just plows right through it <clears throat> but that said uh like you just like any tool you have to like take it easy when you're like do the top bit, just push it in a bit and let it go, and then do the lower bit, and it'll clear it. But I found that near the end, when the battery's uh, <clears throat> sorry, when the battery is just about done, uh, it, it stalls, and it's just because it just doesn't have enough power to do it. And I was pushing it pretty hard, but uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm happy with this. My back's feeling better already just watching this. Because if I was doing it with the scoop shovel, it would. It would have taken a lot longer, and uh, I would have been a bit sore. But uh, getting used to the technique of using a snowblower is uh, is what uh, is what I got to do. <laughs> but uh, wind is a big a big factor in where where you're going to blow the snow and how high you blow it. So anyway, that's it. Now you know. And that's all I'm going to say about the this 80-volt uh, cobalt snowblower for the rest of time. I hope it helps you decide if you want to get one or if it's worth it or, or if some other one's more 